a little past 8.45 in the morning here in Peru, Indiana. It's a little past 8.45 in the morning. I'm here in Peru, Indiana. We're going to be checking out some trends here. We've got this one stopped. We've got really just stopped. We've got 255 coming. Um, I'm expecting a lot of Dash 9s and AC 44s, but we're going to hope for some more power. So, yeah. let's, uh, let's see what we can catch today. in the yard here or something. I'm not an expert. I, I just kind of showed up. Don't pretend like I know something. That's 255, all road railers. We saw 256, its counterpart, in Fort Wayne when we went up to Waterloo. So now we're gonna see 255.
So here's 15Q. Uh, I assume he's pulling up to the switch that's west of here. Um, he's not lying like through the switch though. This is 65T, I believe, is uh, coming up. Yeah, 65T. So, I might have a little trade meet. By the way, 15Q uh, was the train that was working earlier when we when I when I first got here. Hey man, chill. I'm just standing here. to go to the other side of the tracks but well, good thing I didn't unless everything would have been blocked so a shout out me for that big brand fly Everybody running the gates, oh my goodness. SD70H leading this 65T.
So we have a 19 kid that's recruiting uh, in the yard right now. There's a 15 kid that just kind of disappeared. Uh, I assume they're still working. And after that, we have a 181 and a 191 and then a 50Z. So still got some trains coming. Um, yeah, sun might poke out a little bit, but after it dies down a little bit, I think I'm gonna explore around, um, see if we can get some shots of the yard. So this is kind of an update. Uh, 65T passed about 15 minutes ago. So I'm still just chilling here. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next train gets here. nice it's going to a beautiful day i actually don't even know if the sun is on the screen or not i can't tell uh, because there's too much glare i think the sun's on the screen i i, I genuinely can't tell but we're here um still in peru obviously we were over there across the street uh across the bridge i guess uh, when we first arrived but now here with this 50z be a nice wide shot uh, hoping hoping it looks nice the sun on the side of the track so that's what we're hoping for uh, so it should be, should be a pretty nice shot i was gonna do putting my phone up on the car but just with the wind um yeah just with the wind i don't think it would first off i don't think my phone would stand up and with the distance to get a nice uh framing on it uh the audio would be uh, taken over by the wind, which is what I'm kind of fearing right now is what's happening. And you can see it in the opening clip. Uh, obviously, you heard it in the opening clip with um, just the wind being so much, you can barely even hear what I'm saying. So you probably hear 50Z blowing in the background. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out. I thought it was quad nines on that dash nine up front. It would have been a lot cooler if it was though.
So while 50Z is going into their yard area to tie down and get a regroup, I'm gonna head back to where I was to catch 19K, which is about to come out. So that's what the plan is, and we've got some more trains after that. So pretty busy day so far here in Peru. And uh, yeah, we'll see what else we can catch. EMD power here. It's like UP on this 19K. Cars here. We have used our 89 footers. Correct me if I'm wrong. caught slacking again. I was on the FaceTime with TJ. He was uh, telling me some stuff. He's down in Georgia. Here's 181. Um, you just got to recrew. So he's uh, pulling up presumably to that switch waiting on 18k. That's uh, down that direction. Ooh, got some cool box cars. Guess we'll just catch it here. Oh, that was it. That's that's all 81 was. Either that or he's working. A big train today. Alright, so we're still here. Uh, 181 with like 10 cars. Um, we're going to catch 18k. And then 259 is um, going to get a recruit here. Got hair in my mouth. Um, after 259, we'll have a pretty big break unless 15Q decides it wants to leave. So, yeah, uh, after this, it'll, well, after 259, we'll just 
have a break. So go explore around a little bit, see if we can find the yard. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, see what we get later on today. Got some BNSF and UP power. Looking good, looking good. Dash nine pumpkin. Just like with 50Z, this is uh, going to come in and stop. So you're gonna get a recrew. Uh, pretty much once they're down to a moderate pace, we'll uh, head back over to where we were and catch 259, which should be pretty cool. The, uh, I guess second intermodal, the first one with like intermodal containers, not the road railers. Uh, don't get me wrong, the road railers are cool, but is gonna have your, I guess, modern piggyback traffic. Scooby-Doo car. Look at this. Look at that. about the time that I'll uh, head out, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, before I head back over to the other spot, I want to say I absolutely love this. It's this wide open angle. Um, I don't get a whole lot of that in In fact, I don't get any of that. I just go downtown. That's the big CSX, but just having these wide open. It's having these wide open areas to kind of catch up and around. It's amazing as well if we get to see you know the entirety of the train it just looks great so i just want to point that out Peru does have some cool things like these areas so yeah just want to just want to say that with that being said 18k is going to recrew we're going to head back over to catch 259 
and then we'll just have a block of time to uh, do nothing. So I'm gonna head back east, west, and I'll see you guys when I get over there. So I am back at the western spot that I used to catch westbounds. Um, it's just it's just amazing. You don't get these kind of angles here or in Muncie um, to just see the train stretch down. Uh, he's got a big, big cut of these congregated auto racks and he's still got manifest back there. So yeah, it seems to be a pretty, pretty long train today. I actually have no idea what it would, would be long or short. Um, I'm just kind of saying things, but just like I'm sure it is probably multiple times a day, many times a week, crossings are blocked off due to a long train. Um, just happens, so kind of works out for me, so I get to hear the stretch. But yeah, he's uh, currently blocking this crossing. Hopefully, he clears before 2:59 does, but we'll have to see. <sighs> Caught me lacking again. All right, starting to move. Got the new stuff. The uh, rest of the manifest. Okay, so after waiting for two hours, we finally have our 259 coming. At least it's nice and sunny out now. No clouds in the sky type sunny.
But after that, I'm finally gonna go get some food. I would go now, but I just don't wanna eat and then get interrupted, so. Yeah, 14J is next, and uh, we'll be back when 14J arrives. So, as I'm waiting on 14J, I was uh, looking at this rail here. This was put in last year. It's uh, pretty impressive. Uh, so 14J is coming. I decided to step over here to catch it as it's going past the gate. You might be able to hear it. This, uh, this <laughs> mudder, whatever, it's kind of deep. So there's just some casual uh, footprints there from me. I still haven't eaten yet. Getting kind of hungry. But I'm gonna go after this the 199 because then everything is straight up dead. Um, so that's what that's what I'm doing. You'll be able to like catch this 14J coming around the curve. I don't want to step in the mud though. That's the big problem here. Oh my gosh, it's so nasty. It's also a suitcase here with like plastic shot glasses, I think. So that's cool. I guess I'll stand like right here. That looks good. Black and white. My first notice it didn't have any uh, disc lights. So, CP's pretty cool. I haven't seen CP in a while. I don't think since uh, Waterloo. That was a, a nice catch to see you leading. Uh, I assume solo leader means a DPU somewhere. I don't know if we'll be able to see it um, before like it stops. But I guess we'll find out. I do like this angle of it coming around the curve, though. That was that was pretty cool. Also, I'm trying not to shake, but it's kind of cold outside with the wind. So if the videos look not so good, that's why. But probably after DPU, probably head back in the car. We set over there. I like how the driver of that truck just like stopped. It's like, I'm giving myself the turnaround point. They must know that every train that comes in here stops. They have to know, right? Well, 
place that I don't know how long these typically run, so. He's just done, by the way. That's, that's what I meant. past uh, 4.30, you can tell the sun's, the sun is uh, starting to set, we got 1.99 coming, and then it'll be food time, thank goodness. We've got another Dash 9 pumpkin leader. Got the gloves on this time, hands will stay warm. I don't have to shake as much and complain. down a little bit after I got food. Stack me some Wendy's because you know I can. Um, so I'm gonna chill here and wait on some trains which are gonna come eventually. But I'm also gonna go and drive around and see if I can find 
any place with good lighting because I thought this place had lighting but it doesn't appear that there's any street lights towards the tracks that I could really use so I'm gonna look around a little bit more and uh after I eat and then uh yeah I'll uh we'll just catch these few remaining trains and then we'll be out of here so see you guys in a little bit okay so it's a little past 609 um 15q came out of the yard um and then i missed it because i'm just that good but this is the uh the yard office right down there that's uh 1848 uh sd70 acc but yeah this is just wanted to give like a little bit of a hey i went to the yard type thing so there it is it stretches down for oh, probably about a mile and a half two miles it's got some extension tracks and things like that there's a yellow signal over there for the switch i don't know if you can see it I pull my glove off like a man maybe oh my gosh oh, there we go so yeah it's a yellow down there pretty typical um so not really a whole lot going on right now so ns 120 and 256 are coming they're still quite a ways away so they're gonna be night ran um so i'm gonna be here after 256 goes by i'm gonna head out there is a 61p as well which may or may not come this way we're just gonna have to find out but yeah uh that's i guess an update for right now Thirty-two NS here. So, the yard office is right there. Obviously, you can't really see anything because it's dark. Um, I don't know where they're gonna crew swap, uh, so I'm hoping that they do it just right here by the office, so I can like, you know, see it. But uh. I, I don't know, because there was a couple of signals. You can see his headlight. There were a couple of signals over there. They're both yellow. I don't know if that's just for the switches. So then there's a signal that's beyond the yard office that is restricting or red. Um, so we are gonna see where they cruise walk. It may be right here, it may not be. We're gonna, we're gonna play the good old game called Let's Find Out. standing over the yard office. I don't know if they're gonna just like stop right before these crossings or if they're gonna pull up. It's a 32 N by the way. Yes, I forgot to say that. This is with my brights on. A little, a little small car. Oh yes, street light really helping out. wait for the crew to get on and I'll just uh yeah that's that's pretty much it I'll just wait for the crew to get on and 32n will be on its way I moved up as you could tell 
don't know what kind of chair that was. Um, yeah, I moved up um, actually on the road because I don't think anyone's going to pull up behind me. I don't think. I think everyone's, everybody's uh, turning to dodge the train. Well, I don't blame them. Trains uh, be long sometimes, and sometimes they just sit here and do nothing. Like, like this train's doing, but he's airing up. Uh, I think he's about to head out. So we're gonna we're gonna watch him like right now. Didn't even give the two horn blows. I assume he's gonna pick up speed pretty quickly. I guess we'll have to see. Better not be stopped now, so I'm gonna be upset. AC 44 is a notching up. There he goes. I think for 120, I'm going to head to the other spot that I was eating my dinner, my Wendy's, and uh, I'm gonna see if that is any better than this. Cause it's got a little bit of, I guess, surrounding lightning, lighting, my bad, not lightning. So I'm gonna see if that's any better than standing on the side of the road here. Plus, it doesn't even matter if I stand here cause I can't get the crew change. It is too dark and I don't wanna, even if I did pull into the office, it wouldn't matter because there's no lights over there anyway. So I need the truck back. Get the light bar. It'd be so cool. Instead, I just got this piece of trash. It's so sad. Kind of just hoping nobody pulls up behind me. I guess it wouldn't really matter because the gates would still have to go up, but it'd be kind of awkward. Delaying everybody's time at 7.44 on a Tuesday.
say it wasn't a very long train until I made the realization that after these boxcars, there's some flat cars. I've been pranked, duped, and bamboozled. These uh, Peru citizens really just don't like trains. There have been probably two or three cars on the uh, other side of the tracks that have just seen the train and been like, you know what, even though it's moving, I'm just not waiting. I'm gonna take another way. I mean, I know there's the underpass that was right where uh, I was at, at the start of the day. That they can always take, they need to cross the tracks, but I don't know, it's uh, kind of weird. I guess when you live around trains for, you know, probably a decent amount of your life, you're like, Okay, well, I hate this. Well, this person decided he's gonna wait. Little does he know, there's another like 2,000 feet of train. I actually have no idea. I'm just talking for no reason. He's not gonna wait. Wuss. New UP boxcar. Looking fresh. I don't think you can really see it. At least the end is here. That's good, I guess. I don't know. I haven't seen any DPUs today. This is not too surprising. Well, I guess I don't really know. But. Usually at least one of our trains, whether it's 174 or 143, will run with DPU on the Newcastle District. I guess here on the Huntington District, they, they don't do that. Right, well, here's the end, so I'm going to head over to my other spot and uh, yeah, we'll just play the waiting game for 120. All right, so the car's parked over there. Um, I had to do this. I had to come out 
I mean, the signals are yellow, but more importantly, moon check. It just looks so nice. It's definitely gonna snag a picture here. I mean, this just this is just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so 120 is blind, 61 P is right behind it, and then 256 is gonna be right behind. Well, not right behind, but closely behind um, 61 P. So yeah, we got those three. Um, and then there's a 14Q that's behind 256. I'm gonna see how uh, close that is when 256 goes by and then I'll gauge uh, based on how close it is if I catch it or not. Because, I mean, it's only about 8.30, but at the same time I gotta drive an hour, a little over hour 15 back, so. We're gonna see what the tire levels are like, and then I'll keep you guys updated after 256. But right now, it's gonna keep hanging out in the whip, just waiting on 120 to get here, which should hopefully be here in probably about 45 minutes to an hour. So, gonna be another late night, per usual. So, I think it's been about two hours. Uh, since I recorded anything, 120 is finally here. Uh, we're chilling at Harvey Hinkle Wine Hinklemeyer Pizza and More uh, because I think this is gonna offer the best view to catch the rest of these trains, which is 120, which is coming right now with an ACE leader or a K5, and then. Uh, 61P is right behind it, and then 256 will be coming in, which will be the road railers. So, as you can tell, I'm super excited about the road railers. I really like them. I think they're cool. But anyway, these are going to be the last three trains. Uh, it's about 1030. I don't really need to head back, but we're going to head back because there's a 14Q and a 14J. I think there's about 70 miles away. Um, not going to catch them because I need to go home. But... Regardless, here is NS120. He's not stopping for a recruit, he's going all the way through, so we'll catch him at track speed. Hopefully this will be good lighting. We're hoping. Alright, pretty cool, pretty cool. 
does very often. I don't even know what that was. They're all 89 foots. Looks like it's gonna be your cut of racks here. For 61p, we're gonna hope for foreign power. I have no idea if, if it's gonna run with foreign power. But we're gonna hope. That was uh, my bad in the last video. Uh, sometimes when you record in 4K, you just kind of forget like what you're doing, and then you end up with storage full. So hopefully that doesn't happen here. But this is 61P. He's on the far track, um, and then presumably 256 is going to be on the close track. I don't know if they're recruiting or not. Well, I guess we'll find out. 9355 and 8603. I believe. The 61P is going to recrew. Oh yeah, let's get that focus. Make sure we can see. So I believe 61P is a potash load, maybe? I forget if it's loads or empty. And then 60P is the opposite. But I know, do know that it's potash. It comes off the CP. That's why it has CP power in case you weren't an expert but they're probably going to recrew they're either going to recrew or they're going to stop and let 256 run around them either way it's going to be a train meet hopefully because you know got to have something special to finish us off here wow this lighting is perfect Focusing on anything. Hold up. Oh, there we go. Might just have to go gloves off if I can mess with the focus. It's my bad. Hold up. I know. Very important. I get this other glove off. Okay, there we go. Now we can stay focused. Focused. Lighting. Focus. Focus. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm done. imagine you're trying to sleep and you just hear that the loud noise you're just like well I guess I'm not sleeping imagine the train being your alarm in the morning that'd be pretty cool I think I'm just playing all right well this is gonna be your 61p I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here, and we're going to wait on 2.56, which will be our last train for the day. Do you hear it now? Mighty spooky going on. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about this. To finish off our night, NS two fifty six. 
the Triple Crown Road Railers from Kansas City, Missouri to Detroit, Michigan, meeting NS61P at Peru with a ghost horn. Mighty spooky. Spookiest time of the year. I don't know for sure, but I think he's recruiting here. Now 255 was I believe about, well, I was gonna say 255 was about three, three and a half minutes worth of train, I think. Uh, 256 was pretty long last time I saw it. Uh, I was gonna make a comparison, but I believe he's recruiting, so he's gonna stop either way. Still all the way down there. So I assume this is normal for 256 to be this long. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this part of the video up while he's stopping. Uh, yeah, actually, I think I'll wait because I wanna hear what these sound like when they stretch since they all share axles. I want to I wanna hear what a stretch sounds like on one of these. We'll go for just a little bit longer.
Okay. It's like everything just stops at once. That's cool. All right. Well, I think that will do it. In my bad, I was checking the framing. Um, so yeah, that'll wrap it up for Peru rail fanning. Um, pretty, pretty great day. Pretty amazing day, honestly. Got to just chill out here by myself, watch the trains go by. 256 and 255. I was here around 1030, 1045-ish. Uh, only missed one train, which is 15Q coming out of the yard. I don't know what the total number of trains is because I was sending the videos to my laptop throughout the day and staying charged up and things like that. So these two are presumably recruiting. I'm gonna recrew my way back home. And yeah, that'll that'll wrap it up for this video. Um, overall, really amazing day. Saw a, lot of, saw a lot of foreign power and got to see stuff I don't usually see. And that's what I like about going to places like this, like Peru, Fort Wayne, Waterloo, Elkhart. You get to see things you, know, you wouldn't normally see in Muncie. And Muncie's consistent with the trains that it has, and you know, that foreign power here and there on 143 and 196, 197 sometimes, and uh, 174, but it's just about getting out there, you know, seeing new things, uh, going different places, and catching things you wouldn't normally see in your home base or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that's gonna, that'll wrap up this video. I'm Brett from Brett's Train Videos, and I'll see you guys next time.